हेलो फोक्स फर्स्ट वॉच दिस वीडियो मिस्टर बेस्टमैन फोटोज की रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी तुम्हारी है मैं ये कर रहा हूँ रिंग नहीं मिल रही वॉट क्या वो विंड I'm sure many of us has seen this ad commercial multiple times and initially we won't find anything wrong with this but after knowing about the photo taking impairment effect I can confidently say that your perspective would change and you would stop liking such stupidity anymore So let's deep dive into the video folks The leading photo taking impairment experiment Henkel 2014 The seminal study demonstrating the photo taking impairment effect was conducted by Lisa Henkel in 2014 and published in the Journal of Experimental Psychology learning memory and cognition design consist of participants 64 undergraduate students setting guided tour of an art museum with defined conditions that half of them would take photos of each artwork and other half would take no photo they only observe the artwork procedure both the groups received a pre-tour briefing about the museum during the tour the photo group was instructed to take a photo of each artwork both groups took a 20 minute break halfway through the tour After the tour, both groups completed memory tests. Recognition: Identifying artworks seen on the tour from a selection of similar and dissimilar artworks. Recall: Free recall of artworks and details, artist, title, etc. Results: The photo group performed significantly worse on both recognition and recall tests compared to the no photo group. They remembered fewer artworks in total. They provided fewer details about the artworks they did remember. Interestingly, the effect was stronger for remembering the location of artworks within the museum. Conclusion. The study concluded that taking photos of information leads to weaker memory encoding, resulting in poorer recall and recognition compared to solely observing the information. Contribution. This experiment was the first to provide strong evidence for the photo taking impairment effect and sparked further research into the phenomenon. It raised important questions about the impact of technology on memory and our relationship with experiences. The photo taking impairment effect describes a phenomenon where taking photos of something can actually harm your memory of it. This might seem counterintuitive, but studies have shown that people tend to remember less detail about experiences they photographed compared to experiences they haven't. Here are some key facts about the photo taking impairment effect. It's a real thing. Multiple studies have replicated the effect, showing that photo taking consistently leads to worse memory for details. It's not just about forgetting details. The effect can also impact your ability to remember the overall gist of an experience. There are several potential explanations. One theory is that taking photos distracts us from fully engaging with the experience in the moment. Another theory is that we rely too heavily on the photos as memory aids, which can lead to our own memories becoming weaker. It's not all bad. The photo taking impairment effect can be mitigated by being more mindful while taking photos. For example, focusing on the experience itself rather than just getting the perfect shot can help you remember it better. Here are some examples of how the photo taking impairment effect might play out. You're visiting a museum and take photos of several exhibits. Later, you have trouble remembering what you saw in the exhibits even though you have photos of them. You're at a friend's birthday party and take photos of the cake and decorations. The next day, you can't remember what the cake looked like or what your friend was wearing. You are on vacation and take photos of all the sights you see. When you come back home, you have a hard time recalling specific details about your trip, even though you have a ton of photos. It's important to remember that the photo taking impairment effect is not a reason to stop taking photos altogether. Photos can be a great way to capture memories and share them with others. However, it's important to be aware of the potential downside and to try to be more mindful when taking photos so that you can still enjoy the experience in the moment and remember it well later on. Here are some tips for minimizing the photo taking impairment effect. Limit the number of photos you take. Don't feel like you need to document every single detail of your experience. Focus on the experience itself, not just the photo. Be present in the moment and pay attention to your senses. Put the camera down sometimes. Take some time to simply enjoy the experience without taking photos. Talk about what you're seeing with others. This can help you to process the information and encode it into your memory. Review your photos later, but don't rely on them as your only memory of the experience. Try to recall the details yourself without looking at the photos. Additional notes: The offloading hypothesis was proposed to explain the effect. People rely on the camera to remember for them, reducing encoding efforts. 
Subsequent studies have replicated and extended Henkel's findings, showing the effect occurs in various settings and with different types of information. Research is ongoing to understand the mechanisms underlying the effect and potential strategies to mitigate it. By following these steps, you can help to ensure that your photos enhance your memories, rather than assets in them. I hope this information provides a comprehensive view on a wrong development in this technological era that why people should stop taking selfie on every and just live in the moment and feel its propensity. Thanks.